Hello, friends. My name is Mark, and I've created a Bible memory system called Picture the Scripture. And uh, sets of these booklets, uh, they're in digital form or available for download. You'll get a glimpse of them here. It's a Bible memory system that enables you to be able to remember and retrieve information from every chapter in the Bible. So I thought, uh, let's do Genesis chapters one through five, just to show you how easy it works. I have certain peg words I've created and the system explains why these are the peg words. So we're not gonna go into that now, but uh, the peg word for Genesis chapter one is the word gate. In this gate, you see him holding a crate with like the sun, moon, stars, and those kinds of things. Crate helps you remember. Gate is my chapter one of Genesis. I know that. And so crate, he's holding a crate. So crate helps me remember create. He created. This is creation. He created the sun, moon, stars, and the world, and all those kinds of things in Genesis chapter one. Genesis chapter two, the peg word is gun. In this picture, you can see that this gun, instead of having a barrel to put bullets in, it has like a, a rib cage. Rib. Huh? What does that make you think of anything in the book of Genesis? Well, gun, if you see a gun in its rib cage, that helps you remember because I know gun is chapter two of Genesis. And if the rib cage, that recalls that God created Eve from Adam's rib, chapter two. Genesis 3, the key word is gum. In this picture, we have a gum who is hiding behind a tree. Remember the story, Adam and Eve in Genesis 3, Adam and Eve hid from God among the trees. Genesis chapter 3. You can see pictures, and so how easy it is. And once you know the system, you know that gum is Genesis 3, and instantly you can pull that information right out of your thought process. Genesis chapter 4 the key word is gear. Here you see a gear holding a key that's purring. A uh, key purring is key purr, key purr. Genesis 4, key word, I know it is gear. And so his gear is holding, you can picture him cradling or whatever you need to do, is this key that's purring, key purr. The question is asked, remember Cain asked God, concerning his brother, am I my brother's keeper? Oh, that's in Genesis. I know gear is Genesis chapter four. So I know Genesis four is about Cain and Abel and the story of how Cain ends up killing Abel and asking the question, am I my brother's keeper? Genesis five is gall or seagull. And here you see a, a gall, the seagull is being pulled up in the air that remind you of the story of Enoch, there's an E knocking on the head of the gull. E knock, and he's being pulled up. E knock. Remember the story of Enoch? He was, he did not die. He walked with God and he was no more because God took him. There are two men in scripture that God just took. They never died. E Enoch is one of them, and Elijah is the other. But Genesis chapter five, go Genesis chapter five. I know that's five so that I know in Genesis five, we hear the story. We read the information about Enoch who walked with God and he was not. For God just took him. Hey, it's real simple. And I would encourage you to, to be a part of this and learn the system. It's a great opportunity and tool for you to be able to meditate on the scriptures constantly throughout the day and also to share with others if you have kids or grandkids or other family of God uh, just simply by using pictures uh, that you have. When you think of gum, hey, immediately comes to mind uh, chapter three where, uh, where they were hiding from God in the garden, uh, just a, a normal everyday object. All those things become associated with things in scripture keeps your mind on the things above and not on the earthly things. Hey, the Lord bless you. There's a, there's a, a website, picture the scripture, all one word.com. Hey, go and look at the information there that's available. And uh, I would like to encourage you to make a purchase of this. Begin your studying of God's word and knowing his word well. The Lord bless you.